Okay, assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is another case for evaluation for a uh, conventional bridge work. So we have this tooth, it has been endodontically treated, okay? And you have this tooth that uh, seems to be sound, and, and uh, uh, there's a bit of composite filling here, it seems that's a composite filling. But otherwise, I mean, periodontally, gingivally, bone level, uh, roots, uh, periodontal space around the roots, all are okay. Yes. Okay, those are okay. But going back to this, let's discuss this tooth. So a tooth that has been endodontically treated, yes. we have a small span, that's okay. So we can, um, uh, the root can support the pontic because it's a smaller size. But usually what the technician does, usually they enlarge in this a bit on, uh, on the expense of reducing this and this as well. Okay, so they equalize the morphology. Mm -hmm. They don't keep it as a small tooth and a big tooth. Okay, oh. technicians have the ability to do that. But taking into account when they do that, okay, when they do that, they do not interrupt the normal embrasure that should be usually there. Meaning, if I enlarge this and reduce this in size, the embrasure in between them, the buccal embrasure, the zig you know, the zigzag, might be interrupted, meaning being narrower than usual. If having narrower embrasures are there, then we will have a problem with the food escape path, okay? Mm -hmm. We're talking about morphologies now. We haven't gone into the endo yet, but I'm talking about morphologies. Small space, l l smaller space, maybe a little to tooth, a large tooth, which is the normal say, size, a small space, so how does the technician equalize it? They reduce the tilt of the molar when they do it, and they reduce the bulge measle here, and they create a, sm a larger tooth, pontic mm -hmm. tooth, okay? But once more, uh, checking the embrasures, they are not interrupted. Embrasures are uh, very important for the health of the soft tissue beneath them. Now, we're talking about this tooth. So, endodontically treated tooth, lost one wall or two walls? clinically. I see it here as something, but I don't know the other walls. Is uh, the palatal wall missing? Or is it just proximally? Just proximally. Just this. Uh, okay, MO, but I mean the palatal cusp is there? Uh, yes. Buccal cusp is there? Yes. Complete morphology. Okay. Well, what do you think about this endo? Yes, it's not so insufficient. Insufficient. Yes. Um, so, insufficient. Do you think the opacity of this endo is uh, enough? No. The opacity of the filling material no, as well. No. That what does the opacity tell us about the filling material? Good seal. The sealing of the ability. The sealing ability because if it was compacted into the canal, it was put under pressure and compacted. That means it didn't leave enough uh, uh, empty spaces. Yes. Okay. So this this uh, radiolucence. Okay. Let's say this opacity that is not consistent from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's say to the end of this filling, it means that it's also not compacted, other than it's short. Yes. It is short, and it's not compacted well. Okay? So the seal is uh, insufficient. Yeah. Some people would say, okay, I don't want to approach it from coronally, I could approach it apically. What could, what are the options as well for apically? What can you do? This tooth needs a re-endo, okay? Why do you need the re-endo? To produce a seal. Yes. The closal seal here is good. The filling is fine, running with the lines, okay? And we have something missing here, and we might not have a good seal here. Is there any other option? Yes. To do what? Apically, yes. Apisectomy. Apisectomy. Yes. Cutting the root from here. But usually, when do we do this? Is a carefully broken instrument. Yes. A broken instrument, oh, yes, I could not remove. Retreatment. Retreatment. Let me call it extruded. Okay, extruded with get What else? Is it for. Is it for my root to the crown? Root to crown, yes, is favorable. We have long roots. Okay, yes, definitely. We don't do a six minute short roots. What else? I guess if we have uh, simply, simply, we could not reach it coronally. Uh, uh, yes. We could not co access it coronally. When does this happen? Sometimes you come, patient comes like this to you, and but you have an excellent zirconia bridge, for example, yeah. or crown, yes. and so on. You don't want to ruin the occlusal work that you have done. You don't want to approach it occlusally. Okay. The, uh, no, we're taking, when I told you do it apisectomy to produce a seal, this is taken that we have a good coronal seal. Yes. I'm telling you, we have a good coronal seal. Then we have a complex restoration over it, for example, expensive restoration. I don't want to ruin it from the occlusal part. I want to go uh, apically. Okay. So, so it's a, it's a if I if I don't so it's the ability to me to re, to retreat going from the corona. This is the determinant. Does this need retreatment? Yes. yes. Definitely. Reasons? 
Short. 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 Yes. Not well condensed. Okay. And what do you think we need here? This is a tooth standing up because he ha they, it has two cusps. But what will happen when I prepare? What will happen to the corona structure when I prepare? Will this uh, retain this filling? This filling will fall. So what will you should do? Cost and cord as well. So this is one of the reasons. Look how much the filling has taken yes. from the inside. And even I haven't seen it clinically when I remove the filling, you might find a larger cavity even. Okay? So larger cavity means minimal dentine. The minimal preparation of minimal dentine, I don't have enough feral effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at the margin. It's deep. Yes. It's where I want to place my my, my margin of my preparation. preparation. Mm -hmm. So it is deep. Yes. So I'm not sure if I'm going to place a, a pure tooth structure. So I want to make sure that I'm going to place it on a clean uh, and I still have enough dentine. This will not have enough dentine. The, this is the, usually the place or the case in premolars. Premolars have weak dentine already. Yeah. Yani any premolar, you done, you've done endodontic treatment for it. Yes. Definitely it's weak. Yeah. You will not have enough to do crown for it. So definitely you're going to do a post. So, retreatment, post, core, and then bridge work. This is suitable for bridge work. The, um, the small pontic may, means that little forces on this the six has the three roots separated. Sorry, the six has the th uh, three roots separated. We have a good palatal, yes. so we have a lot of surface area on the roots for support. Mm -hmm. So this is okay, even if it's weakened a bit with the uh, uh, endo. Okay, so retreat, post, core, and, uh, and preparation. Thank you.